What is up guys? Sarum Moonspa back again, also known as the Black Gentleman. And today we're taking a look at Mastermind Creations Reformatted Talon, otherwise known as Predacon Dive Bomb. And I'm trying to continue on with my week-long excursion. Um, depending on when I upload this video, I may or may not have taken a day off. Maybe even two days. I don't know. You know, life gets in the way. Sometimes the videos don't come out the way I want them to. So, uh, here we are. Whatever day I upload this video, here we are. <laughs> so, just to take a look at him, uh, he's got a lot going on. I know with Razor Claw, he had to form the core. And so, you know, he was a little bit bigger than Riz. But uh, this guy, because the wings back here, he has to form the whole backpack or well, in the arm. So, yeah. So, for frame first, take a look at his accessories, which I have all plugged in on his back. So, I don't want easy place to come from. First and foremost, let's pull off his sniper rifle. He's a team sniper. Take a look at the gun itself. It looks pretty nice. You got like the rest of the guns. You have a a grayish gun metal on top of it. With a, with a, it's actually just black plastic, but you got some gray gun metal on top. Some nice mullet detail. Honestly, if you turn the gun upside down, it looks like it could work either way. You know, all of the handles right here, of course. But this is my observation. And you got this kind of cool little scope here that kind of folds back. And double to the stock, so that's nice. It's two handles and everything. All right, second second ones, or he has two daggers. I have plugged into the back here. They're both made the same. I can get it off of there. There we go. And he's gonna fall down now. No, he's fine. All right, back to the daggers. They both look very good. Have that pale gold for the edge of the blade. Some nice holes on the side. Give it a very a very wicked look to it. A little serration here at the bottom. And both are the same. And he can hold them in his hand pretty well, which you'll see here and later. Now on to the figure himself. Let's turn him back around. So his public can see him. I could say he has more accessories. Uh, he has these two guns on his arms or chest, which is kind of weird. How you want to look at it. They can pop off easy enough. And on the back here, these two little things look kind of like missiles or bullets. This came in the, uh, the extra filler pack, and they will plug in onto his uh, wrist to fill out his wrist, which you'll also see that as well. All right, as for the figure, I think he looks pretty nice. Very simple, very reminiscent of the, of the G1. And the G1 was basically a brick with some wings. This with this version, the legs can move, and the mouth can open. And the wings can articulate, It's really good. He has some, uh, for the paint goes. You know, it's not that the paint's kind of sparse. But when you do have it, it does look nice. You have some gold here for the eyes. Uh, a little bit of a, kind of a silverish color here for the legs and the shin here. Got silver inside the leg, if you can kind of see that. The wings themselves are nice, are nice gold paint. Come out looking really sharp. And some little bit of red here on the backpack. Like I said, for what this set was not known for his paint. <laughs> but the detail is all pretty good. As far as articulation goes, the mouth can open and close. Like so. Head just come up and down. And spin the head around. Get a full 360 out of that. Uh, these little guns here. They rotate up and down. Wings can go back and forward, as wings should. They can go all the way up, all the way down. Also, you can open these all the way up. And you can also spread the feathers out. Although, when you do it, I think it looks good on, on Dive Bomb. But when you go into Pretty King mode, splitting the wings completely open makes them look kind of spindly. But, you know, take what you can get. And same on both sides, you know. Open it all the way up. Spread the wings out really good. That looks nice. And once you start messing with the wings, you realize that it gets harder and harder to actually get them just the same on both sides. It'll, it'll drive you mad. It really will. Uh, for more articulation. The tail feathers here on the back, or whatever you want to call this thing, it does move them down. Get, get more so when you move the backpack out of the way. And uh, the legs can move up and down. 
spare part, close. Toes, and close up, like so, open back up. Each toe's on the hinge. And that's mostly for a transformation because the feet do end up being like on, on his knees. So there's that. Also, he has a, uh, if you, close camera now, if you uh, turn the ab, not the ab, but if you turn his waist a certain way, you get an ab crunch. It's mostly for arm mode, but you can utilize it here in robot mode as well. So you get a little bit of move the legs up in this upper here. You can totally have him going into a, you know, kind of like coming in a swoop, coming to grab something type deal, which is pretty cool. One bad thing too I found out, kind of like bad, but kind of annoying. Once you close that mouth up really good, it's kind of hard to open it. And you have to take a, there we go, spudge to get open. But yeah, I think that's kind of a cool look. And if I had a stand, I'd have to have him like this, like he's coming down to grab some prey. So I find that really cool. In terms of the bird mode, believe it or not, that's just about it. I know, right? <laughs> you think I have more to say about this, but uh, bird mode's fairly simple. It's dawned on me. When it comes to comparison, I don't really have anything to compare it to. I mean, you know, it's a giant hawk. What am I gonna compare it to? But, you know, keeping the same energy as the last Predacons, I figure I just use the same guy, so. Here is the Earthrise Deluxe uh, Cliff Jumper, and here is the MP Wheeljack. So, for what it's worth, here they are. I know the comparison really doesn't make any sense, but I won't lie to you guys, I'm being lazy and I don't want to transform, um, let's say, Skylynx. <laughs> I don't have really any too many animal bots to compare it to. You know, it was, yeah, this is, this, this, is, this is my comparison. Well, no point in wasting more time. Let me go ahead and get this guy transformed. All right, now here he is fully transformed. And I don't know, it may just be my surface. Uh, I won't lie, I haven't, I haven't transformed this guy in a while. I don't remember him being that back heavy. It's probably just a wing pack. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm having a little problem getting him staying right. And normally I don't believe I've had that problem in the, in the, in the past before. So I'm gonna say it might just be my surface here. Yeah, because or either that just haven't had much experience in posing anymore. But anyhow, here he is. If he topples over a little bit, don't worry, I can fix it. Um, I took the uh, I took the extra accessories that came in my uh, extra bag, and I plugged them in on him on right here. Because normally, there's a gapping hole. Let me pull this out and show you guys. There we go. Oh, come on, here we go. You know, it's like a big gap here, and thanks to these extras. You can take them and just stick them right in there. There we go. Got back in there. So yeah, yeah, I think it fills out things a little bit better. And honestly, I like this robot mode. It has a whole lot more uh, articulation in on his head. You have like two options. You can either have the bird head on tap on top like this, like a baseball cap, <laughs> or you can have it like this, like a more awkward baseball cap. So good choice. I kind of get mine kind of down on the forehead, like so. That's just me. But as for the face, uh, it's like a, I don't know how cartoon accurate it is, but uh, it's just red. And even the eyes are like a, just red, it's kind of, it's kind of not pretty, it's kind of, kind of ugly. Should have made the eyes yellow. Hell, even black. Might have had Jamaster K go in there and paint that woman, that's, that's really not attractive. Never noticed it before. But uh, Bland face aside, which may be accurate. Um, I like the robot mode. It has uh, some pretty good articulation. Uh, the arms on a ratchet. And it can go a full 360, but you gotta remove the wings. But it can do it. As for the uh, arm itself, too, it can go out not that far. Has a bicep swivel, which can get you 360, which is good. Has an elbow bend. And the second bend right here, so you can double elbow bend. The double elbow bend for the most part is for the transformation, but you can still use it. As far as the hand goes, like the rest of them, the hand is articulate, just always open. But you can spin it, which is good, and you can get a full 360 out of that, which is wonderful. Uh, both arms are exactly the same. And to one do Rampage's review, which will probably be tomorrow. 
uh, you'll see that these got actually sheer articulation. Well, the sheer articulation and certain cues similar to how um, Headstrong and Tantrum did. Uh, and again, the waist, if you have it turned just the right way, you can get an ab crunch, which is phenomenal. And you get full 360 waist. And again, most of the transformation, but you still have it, which is good. It's for the legs, you can kick out that far, bend at the knee, which is really, really good, really deep. Leg can go almost all the way back, but yet again, you gotta move, you gotta, move, you gotta move the wing pack, which I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and move it. It's a fun of showing you guys. There we go. And it plugs onto these holes in the back. There. Actually, just these four, because this back one's not really needed, but you can use it still. Move the tail out of the way. And you can't get the kick back that far. And with the knee bend, you can almost sense of an ass, but not quite. If you're into that kind of thing. And kick out that far on both sides. So you can get the full trowel. Just everything everybody see. That's where the feet go. They're uh, on a ball joint. You can get an ankle tilt that much, which is really good. Bend back that far, which isn't pretty, but you can do it. Toe bend, which is, you can get, there we go. Some pretty good toe bend. So pretty much everything you want out of a foot. Same on both sides. Also get a, right here to, right here to knee, you can rotate. Get a full 360 out of that, which is great. All right. As for the weapons, bring back in this rifle. He holds that pretty good. It's got a slide in there. All right. Like I said, he's got to slide it in there. <laughs> I swear, stuff's so much harder on camera. We are back. And sorry about that. It's just the neck, just the gum, is so annoying. I feel like sometimes on camera, like things just. Just hard to get to do. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's me. But uh, yeah, he's C4. He can, he can hold the hand. He can hold the gun. And because he's a sniper, you can uh, angle on the wrist there. Kind of tilt the head. So you can get him into some sniping poses. If you really want to. So yeah, it, it can be done. Matter of fact, let me put it back on and put his wings back on. Just give me a second here. Here we go. Yeah, with all his articulation and whatnot, if you want to bend bend the leg, maybe get one out. Go tilt. I think you can get some pretty cool little sniping pose there. Like I said before, uh, it could be my surface, but sometimes I might have a hard time getting the stand. So far, he hasn't failed yet on camera, but hey. Uh, back to his knobs, he can hold them as well, but I find also kind of cool. And other bots can do this too. I forgot to show with these pegs and the holes on the waist, I mean on the leg, you can totally store them in on their uh, leg holes here. But yeah, you can get it to go in there, just like so. And do the same on the other side. But it's pretty good storage. Although you can use this wing pad too to store his knives if you really want to. But I think on the I think on the on the belt here, not the belt, but the, the leg here, kind of cool. That's kind of a cool way of doing business. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, I suck at posing things on camera. And this is coming from a guy who likes taking pictures of, of his figures. I can't make him strike a good pose on camera somewhere. Let's see. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Well, let's pull in some comparisons. Right for first comparisons, here he is with Siege. Shockwave. My, I figure my will keep the same energy going and the same guys I've been using. It's kind of how they look together. In case you guys are wondering. Here he is with MMC Deadlock. I think that's a fair scale. Looks pretty good. And last but not least, here he is with a MP Carbot. So that's what so I think it looks pretty decent and here he is with the rest of the gang so far we're just one man out we're just gonna get rampage done 
Yeah, we can go ahead and combine them. And I love how they look with this backdrop. Looks really cool. Man, it makes me wish I kind of had some type of a jungle setting for these guys. But this looks really good. Get Rampage done, you know, have him like up here over in the kind of this area. Oh, yeah. I gotta say, man, although you know, at the end of these videos, I know I always say, you know, reviewing these old ass figures, they, they do hold up. They really do. And the more I look at them, the more I handle them, I mean, they, 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 they still feel good, you know? To me, for the most part, most contemporary things, they kind of beat out. Although this guy, when combined, he won't be as big as um, Hasbro's uh, Pretty King. But pound for pound, these guys look 100 times better. Even the combined mode, in my opinion, looks 100 times better than what Hasbro offers. But then again, getting the price, I guess it should though. As far as final thought goes, I think he's pretty good as a standalone. But obviously, you're going to buy him anyway because he's part of a combiner team. Uh, he's not the best of the five, though he is good. My, they said for my, my personal favorite, though he's not the best of the team. My personal favorite is Tantrum. And I believe it might actually be because of Call of Primitives. I think he gave the line of, I, I'm paraphrasing, could be wrong. I remember when they were running, Tantrum had something something along the lines of, he would rather, he would rather uh, stay and fight than run, something like that. But yeah, I think that's part of the reason why I kind of like Tantra. And I like the image design for him. But uh, for, as far as Dive Bomb goes, like I said before, he, he's not the best. But he's still cool. And I would still recommend him, especially if you're building a whole team. But you're going to buy him because you are doing the whole team because he's a combiner. <laughs> when you're doing combiners, they're already, it's already a built-in buy me clause. You know, you don't just want one. Because if you're going to do this one, I recommend Razor Claw. I think he got the most going on of the, of the group. But uh, yeah, I recommend him still. He's still awesome. And before we close out, uh, if you guys are not subscribed to the rest of the Rejecticons, you're missing out. These guys put out quality content almost every day. Matter of fact, my buddy Kato, uh, he just got something in the mail here recently, and you're definitely gonna hang. You definitely gonna pay attention to his channel. Got some good stuff coming. And uh, yeah. Check them out. I'll have all the stuff down here, as always. And I want to thank all you guys for watching my video. Uh, like always, if you guys made this whole video and the rest of my MMC uh, Faircon videos, you're a champion. I gotta say, because these guys, because these figures have been out for a long time. I imagine other reviews have probably done them better. In fact, I know they have. So, if you're watching my review of this thing, I appreciate you. Thank you for that. Also, uh, like I said before, uh, I'm trying to get to, I'm, tr I'm trying to do this impossible task of getting to 500 before the end of the year. I figure with all this virus malarkey, we're all stuck at home. Why not watch some Sardo videos? I got like a whole backlog. Although some of the backlog are not not that great, I've grown a lot since then. But hey, you know, give them a check out, watch them, see how I've grown, or how I've, or maybe how I've not grown. Let me know. But yeah, uh, I'm rambling. I'm trying to get to 500 for the end of the year. If you have subscribed, please do. I appreciate it immensely. You guys are awesome, and I can't do this by myself. This is a, this is a goal I can only hit with the, with the help of you guys. And I want your help so much. I'm trying to produce more quality stuff. In fact, I want to get out more stuff. Hence why I'm trying to do this week of Feral Cons, you know. Although I think I'm messing up a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, this has been Star Wars, but also known as the Black gentlemen out here doing God work, reviewing these old ass figures. Until next time, peace out.